The International Resources Committee is in charge of building a bridge between the international community, so everybody outside the SIGGRAPH North America, and to make this bridge between them and what is happening here in North America. So it's an exchange of information and try to make them know what is happening at SIGGRAPH and bringing the best of CG around the world to SIGGRAPH. The International Center is very important for SIGGRAPH because it's the place where all international attendees can feel at home outside their country. So it's the place where they can find international sessions, they can meet people from their own country, and they can build new links and make new friends or new colleagues uh, right here at SIGGRAPH. The ACM SIGGRAPH Theater is the place where all the sessions uh, with international focus are happening during the conference. So this year we have our international resources curated sessions, so SIGGING Australasia, SIGGING Asia. We have a very interesting uh, Japanese overview of SIGGRAPH 2018 with a simultaneous translation into Japanese. We have CG in Latin America and we also have the sessions from other ACM SIGGRAPH standing committees, from chapters from the digital arts community, from uh, Birds of a Feather with international focus and the British Columbia government is bringing uh, together a series of four sessions uh, focused on Canada and uh, what it is there in terms of education, industry, immigration and related. The other thing is that we have been collaborating with the Scavenger AR uh, mobile application. So the International Center is the place where to go to pick up the prices and talk with the people about AR at SIGGRAPH. For the past years, the International Resources Committee has been producing uh, multilingual audio guides for the uh, venues at Experience Hall and in this case, this year, the Immersive Pavilion. So the multi Lingual audio guides are audio files with uh, translated content of each contributor of Emerging Technologies, Art Gallery, Studio and the AR, VR, MR um, village. So I invite every attendee to go there and to listen to the contributions in their own language. So this year we have seven languages. And the way to do it is uh, either scanning a QR code on the sign of each contribution or just going to the website or to the app and go to the description of the contribution that you want to check and just click on the link and it will redirect you directly to the audio files in different languages. If you want to volunteer for the International Resources Committee, right now we are looking for people who can translate into Japanese, Korean and Chinese. Normally we have a volunteer page on the seacraft.org website, so just go there and fill up the application and we just get back to you.